Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in Reprise session. de l'audience. For this afternoon session, as scheduled in our timetable, comme prévu, we will hear the testimony of an expert, that is TCE 12. De l'expert TCE 12. Court officer. Could you invite the expert into the courtroom? Veuillez faire entrer dans le prétoire cet expert. I noticed the defense counsel Victor Coupe on his feet. La parole est donnée à la défense. Thank you, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honours. Merci. Bon après-midi. Just for the record and some guidance from the bench. Pour mémoire, we requested the senior trial officer yesterday by email. Par courriel, nous avons demandé à la juriste hors classe si nous pourrions disposer de plus de temps pour notre contre-interrogatoire. Le temps nécessaire dépendra des réponses qui seront posées par la partie civile et par l'accusation. Toutefois, compte tenu de ce qu'a indiqué l'experte dans sa déposition du dossier 001, on peut s'attendre à ce que des affirmations sans nuance soient émises par cette experte-ci. Le temps de parole qui nous est octroyé actuellement ne suffira peut-être pas. Voyons comment se déroule cette déposition, mais je rappelle qu'hier, nous avons demandé une prolongation. President, thank you. Le président, Councilor merci Coupé. maître. La parole est à la co-avocate principale. Je voudrais proceed. juste faire une remarque rapide, ou peut-être deux like d'ailleurs. C'est un expert et non pas une experte qui a témoigné dans le dossier numéro This 1 et qui revient ici. Et je trouve qu'il est déplacé d'indiquer dès à présent que cet expert pourrait faire des déclarations euh, qui seraient inappropriées. Je crois qu'il faut d'abord l'entendre et ne pas lui faire un procès d'intention de cette façon. Ça me paraît déplaisant et déplacé. President, thank you. The prosecution. You may proceed. La parole est à l'accusation. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bon après-midi à tous les juges. Monsieur le Président, and good afternoon. Effectivement, hier, il y a eu une demande de la demande de la partie défendresse. Je représente Nunchia concernant cet expert et le temps qui est alloué aux différentes parties. Nous estimons que nous rejoignons en cela l'email qui a été envoyé par euh, Mme Katrina Nathalie au nom des, des euh, parties civiles que cette demande est manifestement tardive, elle vient la veille de l'audience. Ça fait longtemps qu'on sait que cet expert va témoigner, ça fait longtemps qu'on sait ce qu'il a dit dans le dossier 1, c'était en 2009. Il n'y a pas de raison, je crois, à la veille de l'audience, de demander à la Chambre de modifier le temps de parole. Maintenant, si jamais la Chambre, contre toute attente, prenait une décision dans le sens de la demande de Nunchia, nous serions évidemment euh, en mesure également de demander la même extension de temps, qui est la même chose du côté des procureurs, le même temps qui soit allué du côté des coprocureurs et du côté de chaque équipe de défense. Mais nous ne pensons pas que cette demande soit justifiée parce qu'elle est tardive et qu'elle aurait pu être faite bien avant. Merci beaucoup, M. le Président. Thank you, Mr. President.
President. After having heard the Le request President, la Chambre est saisie by the Defense Council for Nunchean, de as, as, as the other relevant uh, parties, the Chamber will discuss the issue, and that is based on the nature of the questions put to the expert by the prosecution and the political lawyers, and the time will be considered et par in due course. Civile, et la Chambre se prononcera donc en temps utile. Court officer, please invite the expert into the courtroom. Veuillez faire entrer l'expert dans le prétoire. Good afternoon, Mr. Expert. Le président. Is bon your name Chim Sotira? Est-ce que vous appelez Chim Sotira? Answer, Mr. President, your honours. Yes, my name is Chim Sotira. Mesdames, Messieurs les juges, oui, je m'appelle Chim Sotira. Thank you, Mr. Chim Sotira. And Merci, Monsieur how old Chim are you? Sotira. Quel âge avez-vous? And uh, I am 45 years old. 45 ans. Questioned. Where is Question. your current address and occupation? Et quelle est votre profession? And uh, currently, réponse. I live at number two. J'habite au numéro deux de la rue Okniya. And Phnom Penh May. I work as a medical expert Je suis and also expert the executive director of TPO. Médecin et je suis directeur exécutif de TPO. Thank you. Le président. Merci. As reported by the graduate this morning, to your best knowledge, you are not connected by blood or by law to any of the civil parties in this case, nor to any of the two accused, namely Nunchi and Kiesopon. Is this correct? Exact. Answer, yes, it is. Réponse, oui. Thank you. Also, as reported by the graffiti, you already threw an oath before your appearance. Is this correct? Exact. Answer, yes, it is. Réponse, oui. Thank you. We would like to inform the parties to the proceeding that for the hearing of the testimony of this expert, the floor will be given through the political lawyers for the civil parties first before any other party. And the time allocation is one hour forty minutes. You may proceed. Les convocats principaux disposeront d'une heure et de quarante minutes. Good afternoon, Mr. Pick President, your and good afternoon, good afternoon, everyone in and around the courtroom, and good afternoon, Mr. Expert. Bonjour, Monsieur l'Expert. I have some questions for you. J'ai des questions uh, à vous poser. Upon my conclusion, Ms. Elisabeth Simonoffort will take Simono the floor for le the civil parties regarding your expertise. To start with, can you tell the court en premier lieu, about your qualification faire état in de vos your qualifications expert area? Dans votre domaine d'expertise. 
answer. Réponse. Thank you, Mr. Co-Counsel. I studied medicine J at la the médecine. Medical University and I concluded it in 1992 and in 1994 1999 to 2000, I continued in Australia. À and I am now in my final year. Monash, en Australie. Je suis en dernière année. Thank you. Question. Question. I'd like to briefly ask you about the history of your employment. Can you tell the chamber? Interroger. In particular, your employment in dealing with the victims of the Khmer Rouge regime. So first, your general employment, and secondly, your employment in dealing with the Khmer Rouge victims. Answer. In the psychological area, I've been working for almost 19 years. Cela fait près de 19 so ans I am uh, considered one of the ten experts in Cambodia after the Khmer Rouge regime. Pour ce qui est du régime Khmer Rouge. I started working with uh, the victims of the Khmer Rouge regime directly and in particular Tout de suite après, the victims of S21 La fin de mes études et en particulier 2005, 2006, 2006 up to the present time. 2006 avec Question. les victimes de famille des victimes de S21. Besides the victims of S21, Question. en plus des victimes de S21, have you worked with other victims in the psychological area that is in relation to the victims of the Khmer Rouge regime? Du régime Khmer Rouge en leur fournissant un accompagnement psychologique. And, uh, my organization has been working with the victims of the Khmer Rouge regime avec les victimes du régime and Khmer we Rouge. worked with several of them. So they were the victims of torture, Ces gens of ont été sexual rape, de torture, and de viol. myself and my TPO also provide treatment to other victims of patients who were victims and who were tortured or who were traumatized due to the result of the regime. Et traumatisé sous ce régime. Question. Question. Do you or your organization work with the civil parties in case 002? Votre organisation travaille avec des parties civiles constituées dans le dossier 002. Réponse oui. We work with civil parties in both cases 001 and 002. Avec des parties civiles dans le dossier 002 comme nous l'avons fait dans le dossier 001. In relation Question. to the general victims of the Khmer Rouge regime, des victimes du régime Khmer Rouge can en général, you tell us the result of your work with them? What were the impacts that they suffered under the Khmer Rouge regime? Du régime des Khmer Rouge sur ces personnes? Answer. 
I can réponse. say that the majority of the victims that we have uh, worked with or that we provide the psychological uh, expertise through cas, were traumatized. Ces victimes que nous avons suivies ont été traumatisées. From the outer appearance and uh, without close consultation with them, it seems that, that they are normal. À première vue, ces gens ont upon deeper Toutefois, consultation with them, quand on se met à parler researching avec and elles, consulting with them about their backgrounds, their living conditions under the Khmer Rouge regimes and their relatives, de vie, we learned that Rouge et sur leur they famille, were seriously traumatized under the regime. And due to their difficult living condition, it seems from the outside that they were not traumatized as a, they can continue pas working and earning their living. But uh, as I said, the majority of them were traumatized. Dit, la plupart de ces gens ont en réalité subi un traumatisme. Question. Question. Can you tell the court the symptoms indicating that they were traumatized? Quels sont les symptômes qui trahissent ce traumatisme? Answer. Réponse. Of course, we have our methods for Nous possédons determining whether méthodes. A person is uh, traumatized. For instance, dans quelle mesure une personne a pu être traumatisée. In our area, we have a measure to, Nous avons, to test exemple, and to indicate uh, the level of a trauma. De mesurer la gravité d'un traumatisme. Namely, that a, a person has a nightmares and Par the exemple, si mental reaction can be a kind of a PTSD. Les gens peuvent présenter des symptômes de syndrome de stress post-traumatique, de dépression, d'anxiété ou de paranoïa. And that resulted from a serious torture and suffering inflicted upon them. And the, the constant symptom was the, the vivid imagination of what happened. Il y a un qui est and when there is any symptom, which is a, there is an event which is similar to those uh, events, that would trigger la their feeling. Un and uh, sometimes uh, they would have a nightmare about being chased, about being Par exemple, killed, des gens or about the relatives that were killed, or that they lived through the difficult period, or that they themselves de were tortured in uh, different forms. And some of them ce, in that dream were being put in a dans cage, cauchemar, and that is the indication of a trauma. Ceci est le signe d'un traumatisme. And that could in fact reflect the what they suffered under the Khmer Rouge regime. Et cela peut regime. correspondre aux souffrances vécues sous le Khmer Rouge. You indicate Question. the four symptoms, the Vous PTSD, avez the quatre symptômes de syndrome trauma, de stress and the other two symptoms, and I am not a, an expert, so I can never the exact expert. terms you use. Can you indicate to us the details of each of the four symptoms Mais that you stated? Mais pourriez-vous préciser exactement en quoi consistent les quatre symptômes cités? Answer. Réponse. Let uh, me give you an example of uh, PTSD and a trauma. Un exemple de syndrome de stress post-traumatique et de traumatisme. Is le one of the symptoms that a lot of experts uh, claim impacted upon a lot of uh, victims in Cambodia. Et qui affecte beaucoup de victimes cambodgiennes. Usually, in regards to PTSD, the, the victim en général, would recall the events that happened uh, to them, and they, they, 
It seems that the passé. event uh, is taking place uh, vividly in front of their eyes, either during the daytime or at night time through a nightmare. La journée, la nuit, ces ont des and the second important uh, symptom of PTSD is the avoidance. De de that is, they do not want to talk about uh, what happened or go through the location where they were de mistreated or to talk about any events that uh, would trigger the events that happened to them in the past. And the third main symptom, which is related to their bodies or physical appearance, usually during the nightmare, they would find it difficult to breathe. Par exemple, des they would have a tremble in the chest, des or the body would the poitrine, uh, tremble just des upon a, a small sound or noise, Au and bruit. that they uh, cannot sleep, and they have a strength in their sommeil. muscles. All these symptoms indicate to PTSD, voilà and I actually conducted a research, because PTSD is a symptom, and actually uh, this is determined by the Western experts in the medical field, but uh, for our country, uh, there are some distinctions due to our cultural differences. Let me give you an example. Our people, Je vais un they are kind of uh, not outgoing people, Les and they, they don't want to speak about uh, any trauma, and they are lacking in the decision making because of all the Ils impacts that they suffered under the regime. De la prise de décision, et ce, à cause and of course, uh, Cambodian people under the, the Khmer Rouge regime, uh, due to hear the, uh, one of the uh, well-used phrases that is to grow a cotton, uh, a kapok tree, that is to, to remain quiet or to keep a silent. So for them, they don't want to do anything or to speak about it. And for that reason, they lack of their personal communication with other people. Ils ont du mal à and these are autrui. in addition to the symptoms Ceci determined uh, in the PTSD by the Western experts. Du syndrome de stress post -traumatique also, par les experts we occidentaux. notice the, the anxiety in them, Nous the hopelessness due to the great loss uh, under the Khmer Rouge regime. For example, the loss, the loss of their houses after they were evacuated Rouge, from exemple, the city or from the village, and the loss of their relatives village, upon returning to the village and they were not there. Village, quand on a vu que leur plus là. So, sometimes they they would consider of uh, committing suicide uh, because of all these factors. Question. Question. Can you elaborate a little bit further on the symptoms of a paranoia? Préciser quels sont les symptômes de la paranoia? Answer. This is Réponse. the least kind of the symptoms that uh, we found. Some of the victims, and uh, due to being tortured up upon the allegation that they were spies, uh, for avoir example, été des espions, and as it was exemple, compounded, the way they torture, they, they received in the detention center, they were scared. And they always have suspicions that they were being monitored or followed. Et ont l'impression d'être surveillé en permanence. Is monitoring or is tracking him or her down. Un espion qui cherche à les démasquer. Question. Question. After those victims experience the traumatic events under the regime and Après avoir été sous le des Rouges, 
what they have experienced up to today et après avoir vécu d'autres expériences jusqu'à aujourd'hui being traumatized by those events est-ce que l'on peut dire que ce traumatisme regime? remontant à l'époque des Khmer rouges persiste Answer. Réponse. I don't really quite get your question. Je ne suis pas sûr d'avoir really saisi votre question. Pourriez-vous la préciser? Question. question. You stated that the victims of the Khmer Rouge regime were traumatized. Vous dites que les victimes des Khmer Rouges ont subi un traumatisme. Since they were first traumatized and regarding their current situation at the time does your study indicate any changes to their mental status for example evolué au fil is the symptom uh, is a trauma symptom Autrement now dit, uh, reduced or it uh, the same aujourd'hui les symptômes du traumatisme sont But, uh, réduits ou est-ce qu'ils persistent au thank you degré? for uh, the clarification on your question well if the réponse they, they uh, have not received any uh, treatment or they have not been uh, counseled, then this uh, symptom remains with them. It uh, would not uh, reduce. Generally, uh, these people uh, in the uh, course of everyday activity, uh, they uh, operate like an um, average person. But if uh, there is any event uh, that triggers uh, the uh, previous traumatic experience they uh, have gone through, then uh, uh, they would be in a situation which we can recognize. But if they uh, receive uh, treatment, uh, then uh, they will they tend to get better. But the treatment takes uh, a rather long time, and I believe that uh, they need not only the uh, psychological counseling but also the uh, legal uh, support as well as the livelihood restoration uh, and other programs as well in order to reintegrate them into the uh, mainstream uh, living condition. Question. I would like to uh, look at the uh, situation or condition of the civil party in K002. Normally, the uh, civil party and victims have expressed uh, their traumatic experience. And uh, do you observe that uh, those who are in K002 uh, have the same traumatic experience as those uh, you have worked with before? But, um, Le même état que les gens avec the President, uh, Mr. Expert, please hold on. Le Mr. Coppé, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. I, I object to this question. I am not je sure à cette if question, uh, this expert knows what these civil parties have testified, what they have said, if, even si if they cet expert are known by this expert, whether they have been uh, in, uh, investigated by him, examined by him. Même, so this expert cannot possibly say anything relevant about the um, suffering of the civil parties here this week and, and, and last week, only if uh, they are his patients. Otherwise, he cannot say anything sensible. Sinon, he cannot say anything sensible. Thank you. 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 So, uh, yeah. Council Pyongyang, with uh, your permission, Mr. President, I believe that the expert is um, a professional uh, person who has uh, undertaken study, uh, particularly on those uh, who have gone through traumatic experience uh, during the Khmer Rouge uh, period. And of course, the uh, victims and the uh, civil party in K002 were the uh, victims of this uh, uh, experience and as a, um, a professional uh, in the field uh, with expertise, I believe that he has provided uh, counseling uh, not only to his client in general, but also the civil parties in K002. I believe that the question uh, put uh, to this uh, witness now is, is appropriate. And, uh, in addition, Mr. Kem Sotira is an, an expert uh, in the field. He has the expertise to assess the impact uh, on the uh, 
uh, mental health status uh, of the, uh, of the uh, civil party. I would like to seek uh, leave from Mr. President to allow him to respond. The President, Mr. Prosecutor, you may proceed. Thank you, President. Earlier on, I noted that the expert stated that not only had he worked with the civil parties who had been admitted into case 2, but he had also worked with the civil parties admitted into case 2. This question is entirely justified because he has stated very clearly that he has worked with civil parties. He has not identified which ones, but he should be in a position to uh, speak on the results of his work with the civil parties. If, if I may quickly reply, Mr. President, this is sensitive medical réplique. information. I would like to know if there is a waiver of these uh, confidential I'm not quite sure if we, are, uh, uh, if we should be discussing the medical history of the civil parties who have been justified. I don't know if it's just to discuss the civil parties who have been justified. President, I hand over the floor to Judge uh, Silver Card Wright uh, to uh, settle the objections uh, posed by the Defense Counsel for Ms. Lemontier concerning the last question posed by the lead co-lawyer for, uh, for the Civil Party. Judge, please. Yes, thank you, President. Uh, the lead co-lawyers 
should put to the expert um, some of the uh, experiences of trauma that Devrait the civil parties have described in the courtroom and ask his expert opinion on them. This means, means that the objection sur cela. is Ce qui upheld because the expert, uh, you, you have not established whether the expert knows what uh, specific trauma si or symptoms of trauma des that the civil parties have described in court. And he certainly cannot refer to his own knowledge at a therapeutic um, level of any individual civil party. So you will have to describe and ask him if, in his expert opinion, this is a symptom of the trauma that he has been describing or not. Now you don't need to go exhaustively through what the civil parties have done, but just a few examples might, uh, might be of assistance. Have I made that clear enough for you? Est-ce que c'est assez clair Thank you, Your Honor, for uh, making this uh, point uh, clear for me. As a matter of fact, um, my colleague, Madame uh, Simono, Simono Fort, uh, will uh, dwell on this uh, issue in a specific uh, manner. That's why uh, I uh, raise uh, this point now as a, in, in a broad uh, term. But with your in instruction, I would like to uh, move to a more specific point. Mr. Expert. Have you assessed Monsieur or uh, followed the uh, testimony of the uh, civil party who have been summoned to the court uh, to testify uh, here concerning their traumatic experience uh, as well as their um, uh, suffering? Uh, have you followed? Uh, this et line of la description des souffrances qu'elles ont faites. Avez-vous suivi uh, you, but, um, Réponse. Réponse. I uh, did not uh, follow uh, this um, testimony because over the last couple audience. of weeks uh, I was on my uh, trip uh, overseas. However, uh, I uh, actually have uh, uh, consulted uh, some uh, civil parties in case uh, 002 as well, for example, uh, one lady who was uh, tortured, uh, to be more specific, it was rape, uh, raped uh, during the Khmer Rouge uh, period. She was raped and then uh, she was uh, tortured uh, as well. And her traumatic experience was so painful and she uh, has uh, hidden it uh, with herself as she has never shared uh, this uh, painful experience with anyone and that make it even more painful for her so it make it very difficult for her when she speak out uh, she needs support psychological support with people around her when uh, she uh, speak it out she try to recall that painful experience so she received the uh, counseling from us before uh, she uh, chose avoidance as her coping uh, uh, strategy um, she became despaired uh, for her future. She was uh, hopeless, and she had uh, nightmares of what had happened uh, in her life. Uh, she tried 
to avoid uh, everyone. Uh, she lived in fear, and uh, whenever she encountered something or any event uh, similar to what she had encountered, she was terrified. For example, people wearing in black, people talking loud, for instance. Uh, Council, uh, thank you, Mr. Expert, but I, I will I will dwell on each and individual case of the civil party uh, uh, later on. But for now, um, I can bring up the experience of two civil party. Uh, one is Mr. Jen Dool, and the other was the uh, experience of uh, Madame uh, Saint Si uh, Both of them were the victims uh, during the uh, regime. Uh, they were both evacuated uh, out of Phnom Penh, and along the way, they encounter a lot of barbaric activities along the road. Uh, she was forced to leave uh, Phnom Penh. Um, they were expelled from their house, and they were evicted from the place where they stayed uh, when they went along the ways. And the um, situation that she encountered along the way, for example, stepping on the corpses, or she had to walk um, non-stop and she had pains, uh, all the pains all over her legs and uh, other uh, difficulties that they endured. Actually, I cannot uh, uh, enumerate all the difficulties they encounter in details. But at that time, um, both of them were around uh, 9 or 11 years of age. I would like to ask for your expert opinion uh, concerning the impacts uh, on them uh, at this age. Uh, what, what would be the uh, impacts uh, on these uh, children and whether or not uh, these impacts were far-reaching for them in their later life? The president, Mr. Expert, please hold on. Mr. Gopé, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. I object to this question. It might be different if the civil lead co-lawyer would describe the trauma experienced by the particular civil party, and then might ask the question, une partie civile uh, et ensuite poser la question est-ce que ce traumatisme est-ce que l'expert a déjà uh, vu un tel traumatisme uh, mais, que, the mais de déclarer uh, that les, can plutôt can de faire une liste des to, uh, difficultés uh, qu'avait vécu la partie expert, civile ne permettra pas d'avoir um, un témoignage d'expert comme nous l'avons les rapports ont montré que 10 à 14 des personnes souffrant de troubles de stress post-traumatique présentent des symptômes et les autres ne présentent pas ces symptômes. Je pense que l'on devrait demander à l'avocat de décrire le traumatisme et de demander si cela respecte les modèles caractéristiques et pas simplement dire voici ce que tel parti civil a enduré. Uh, Maître Pekong. Consul Pekong. Hearing uh, what Mr. Coupe has just said, uh, it is something that I am doing now. The, the, the objection and the grounds for objection by the defense team for Mr. Nguyen Chia are founded and most appropriate. Therefore, the expert uh, is instructed Donc, not to respond to the last question posed by the lead co lawyer for the civil party. And council, please. Uh, Try to rephrase uh, your question uh, for the expert. We wish to remind you that this expert uh, was not uh, in Nous the uh, public gallery or he was not following pas the uh, testimony as well as the statement of uh, suffering of the previous civil parties that the chamber has summoned uh, them uh, to testify uh, before the chamber in the last uh, few weeks or this, uh, this week. So you should uh, take this factor into consideration, otherwise uh, you may run the risk of uh, losing the times that you uh, should have uh, saved to ask uh, the expert. 
qui vous a été donné pour poser des questions. Alex. Council Pignong. Maître Pignong. Based on your uh, study on the uh, vos recherches, symptoms uh, so of the uh, victims. I would like you to enlighten the court about uh, the uh, psychological impacts on the uh, children. De ou des Response. Thank you. In the Réponse. evacuation, bon, merci. particularly the evacuation from uh, their uh, familiar residence, uh, of course, uh, they would be forcés, uh, affected. Un domicile uh, qui leur était familier a certainement eu un impact. Regardless of uh, whether or not they are old or young. So this uh, was a traumatic experience as well. And of course, uh, uh, as uh, children, they do not have a sufficient coping uh, strategy uh, with this traumatic experience. Because uh, when they are very young, uh, they had to uh, stay far away from the place that they are familiar, uh, then this uh, experience was even more traumatic. Because normally when they stay in a place, they uh, have some attachment uh, to the place uh, and the people uh, over si there. So when they are evacuated, uh, they are detached uh, from Dès that attachment. So they lose the opportunity to uh, interact or to uh, socialize uh, with uh, others when they are evacuated to a different place and unknown location they have to encounter a lot of difficulties over there for example they do not have proper shelter they uh, had to work uh, very hard uh, over there and uh, when they uh, became sick uh, they did not receive proper uh, treatment so these are the uh, psychological impact uh, that children um, would uh, have, and as for children, uh, through this traumatic experience, uh, they lose their future vision, in other words, their uh, vision for the future may be tarnished, uh, unlike uh, people who are mature enough to think of uh, what uh, will happen to them in the future. Once again, uh, to be more specific, uh, children may, be, may lose the sense of uh, growth uh, for the future and in the future uh, the psychological impacts might be um, far-reaching for example children might uh, suffer from PTSD or they have a behavioral problem for example and they also have uh, they, they may have the anti-social behavior may, they may become uh, uh, aggressive and they may become sadist for example uh, at that times they are uh, they they were uh, young they were uh, but now they are uh, parents uh, in the family so if they have sustained this traumatic experience and they have uh, psychological problems when they were young they were uh, put in the uh, child unit and they were subject to tortures and hard labors or so so when they are raising their children probably they uh, tend to um, uh, raise their children in a more hostile uh, manner. This may be the consequence for uh, uh, the, their children. Council, how about uh, children who became orphaned, they lost their parents and relatives? Do you think that their uh, psychological uh, status uh, would be uh, the same as those uh, children you have just described. Response. Generally, uh, the traumatic experience um, is quite similar from one person to another, but general, for children who lost their parents, it's even more severe uh, because upon uh, the return of uh, 
when the Khmer Rouge regime was uh, okay. over, they did not have anyone okay. to rely on. Uh, they the did not have the social support. Uh, those who receive uh, social uh, support during the Khmer Rouge period or after the Khmer Rouge period, normally their uh, psychological status uh, is better, better than uh, those who did not have the uh, family and social support. So, of course, in general, they are affected uh, by the traumatic uh, event, uh, okay, but uh, the uh, condition is more severe than those uh, who uh, have their uh, family support. Council, I raise uh, this issue because there is one civil party. I would like to know whether or not uh, this particular civil party has a feeling that uh, he feels different from others, that he was an orphan from a very young age, and we look at everyone, they had their parents. And can you um, draw the, the um, or can you enlighten the court Car as to what the like what is the likely behavior of, of the person of this kind? But uh, you response. Of course, these uh, people tend to uh, regret about things in life, and they uh, resent uh, very easily. For uh, they feel they have resentment uh, of everything that happens in their life and normally these people may suffer from a uh, psychological problem which is uh, normally uh, known as uh, grief. Uh, this person uh, is behaving like a grief a stricken person who uh, lost uh, his uh, loved one. And recently um, uh, in the uh, center against uh, genocidal uh, crimes in Berlin. Uh, they Le conducted study uh, on over 700 uh, people and uh, they suffer from grief. Uh, normally they, uh, they are very resentful because they uh, have lost their parents. They are resentful because they have not received sufficient support uh, from the um, societal organizations and people around them. Council, I uh, have only two more questions before I uh, hand over to my esteemed colleagues. Um, for those who had been evacuated and then resided uh, in the countryside, and their children uh, died one after another uh, by various reasons, uh, whether it be disease or uh, killing. So I would like to know the um, the psychological Vous impact of a mother as a consequence of this uh, traumatic event. event Response. Response. As I said earlier, concerning the loss, uh, people who Donc, lost the loved ones uh, may have a much more uh, severe traumatic experience. They, in addition to losing the property and belongings they had, uh, they also lost uh, their loved ones. These have a, a very severe uh, psychological um, uh, impact uh, because they lost uh, their loved ones. Uh, then this person uh, tend to become very lonely and he or she becomes uh, despaired. And uh, he or she uh, do not want to achieve anything uh, in life uh, because uh, they still have sentiment for uh, the uh, loved ones uh, who uh, was gone. So this uh, traumatic experience remains uh, with uh, the uh, victims. Council, my last question for you. For question. the uh, people who was um, forcibly evacuated out of the city when they arrived uh, in the base um, in the countryside, they uh, were discriminated against. Treatment against them was uh, completely different uh, from the base people, um, and they were forced uh, to uh, work extremely hard uh, over there. So I would like to um, know the uh, psychological impacts to the victims of this kind. Quel est l'impact psychologique sur les victimes de telle expérience? Réponse. 
As far as the psychological uh, impact is concerned, uh, during the Khmer Rouge period, uh, virtually everyone was Sur affected by uh, this. Uh, at that time, there was a segregation between new people and old people. This was um, a circumstance that uh, the new people uh, were living in fear uh, because they uh, had a feeling that they were uh, classified as new people and they were the target. Uh, of uh, surveillance, uh, they were prone to attack, they were prone to allegation uh, by others, implication by others as well. So they uh, had the uh, sense of losing their identity and they were uh, the people who were subject to surveillance and implication and they were also subject to being killed as well. So they uh, lost uh, their identity and losing one's identity is a, a very severe uh, traumatic experience because uh, these people were uh, considered uh, de detached uh, from the mainstream society, that they do not enjoy uh, what uh, they should uh, have in society. Uh, just Council, just a uh, follow-up uh, to this. Uh, uh, is this your uh, observation or it is your uh, estimation of that uh, concerning these impacts? Answer a question based on the experience, and uh, personally, I also lived through the regime. Experience. Moi aussi, j'ai vécu and sous ce régime. J'étais considéré comme un membre du peuple nouveau. Ce sentiment-là, je l'ai vécu moi-même. Et je pense que c'est la même chose pour les Cancer. autres. Mr. President, I Maître Pic 1, Monsieur le Président, j'en ai terminé. J'aimerais céder la parole à ma consoeur internationale. You, Merci, Monsieur le Président. President, yes. Le Président, je vous en prie, allez-y. La parole est à la co-avocate principale. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. Bonjour, President. Monsieur l'expert. Good afternoon. Je vais vous poser Mr. quelques expert, questions. Je voudrais les baser sur votre pratique et votre expérience professionnelle avec des victimes, pas seulement avec des parties civiles, victims, mais avec les victimes des Khmer Rouges que vous avez pu rencontrer well. en tant que patient. Victims of uh, Khmer Rouge. Je vais d'abord, euh, comme une question de suivi. Meet. Revenir sur un terme qui a été euh, cité par vous et par mon confrère tout à l'heure, like le terme de « backsbat ». Est-ce que vous pouvez nous en dire plus sur ce, ce terme-là Can you tell us a bit more about that term Thank you for your question. The word in Khmer, which pronounce « backsbat », en Khmer, on dit bad, bad. That is in literally means a broken uh, carriage. Littéralement, cela veut dire. In the dictionary of uh, some that song Chun Nat, it describes that it defines that the word bad, bad is the word coming brisé. from two separate words. That is the breaking part, and the other part is the physical aspect. So it's the the physical breakage, and that definition also refers to the psych psychological Cette impact of a person. That it means the psych psychologically that person is damaged or Cela broken. Cela veut dire que cette personne a été brisée. However, the word bats bad in the Mais scientific sense, bad, it, it is more expensive than that. It refers to the suffering received by the Cambodian people through the regime. Et cela renvoie aux souffrances des Cambodiens sous les Khmer Rouges. Je vous remercie. Vous avez répondu à ma question suivante puisque Thank you. You've vous vouliez ce. The next question I have for you, since you relate this syndrome to victims, the victims of the Khmer Rouge, and this is what I would like to ask. I would like to go into more detail. But now, we are talking about the treatment. 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 
des NGOs. Est-ce que vous avez rencontré des victimes qui vous ont expliqué qu'elles ne souhaitaient pas parler des crimes à leurs enfants Et si oui, est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire les raisons pour lesquelles elles ne voulaient pas en parler Le plus souvent, les victimes d'un traumatisme of the symptoms, that is the, the, the avoidance, le symptôme d'évitement. Elles veulent éviter de parler du passé. Because my Et de ce qu'elles ont vécu, even, uh, en se remémorant l'événement, elle ressent so by being avoidance, the person une douleur. Be in a better en évitant status. cela, for that reason, la they personne to touch upon the issue. se sent mieux. Like also to add that Cambodian people, that is the majority of them, que la seems to des fall into this avoidance symptom more than the other people. Présente in the world that is uh, the post-war traumatic experience. Davantage que dans so régions my du monde. general observation is that the Cambodian people avoid the talking about the Khmer Rouge uh, regime Donc, even within the family circle. Du des Khmer Rouge, et ce, même And au as sein for du the victims, familial. if I do not ask them, they would not uh, victimes, tell me si about je that. Ne les pas, they find it difficult to, 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 to tell me elles ont du mal à en parler. Et person, même quand je pose des questions, time la personne a besoin de temps pour collecter lui-même ou elle-même avant qu'il ou elle vous dise sur l'expérience. Pour pouvoir évoquer cette expérience. Oui, je vous remercie. Mais de façon un Thank peu you. plus approfondie, est-ce que certaines level, victimes ont exprimé le souhait de ne pas en parler you know spécialement à leurs enfants en vous disant pourquoi c'était impossible d'en parler à leurs enfants éventuellement. Le fait que ces gens ne veuillent pas en parler à leurs enfants, due to the traumatic experience, they try not to describe the situation or the event. And in Cambodia, it seems ne veut pas parler de there is a collective voice for them Cambodge. and not to let them speak about it, and that happened uh, throughout the country. In general, we can observe that uh, a lot of Cambodian people do not want to talk about that. Beaucoup de Cambodians ne veulent pas and en parler. secondly, Deuxièmement, they may feel that they are not ready or to tell them as they feel the, the children, their children are not ready to hear about those events as they might have an impact upon the children or that the children may not understand the, the events. And for that reason, they avoid uh, retelling the story to their children. Ces événements aux enfants. Merci. Toujours dans ce, cette euh, idée de ne pas parler, est-ce que vous avez rencontré des victimes qui vous ont expliqué qu'elles côtoyaient tous les jours des personnes qui avaient exercé les violences à l'époque et qu'elles ne pouvaient pas du tout évoquer avec ces personnes ce qui s'était passé those persons who committed those acts of violence. Uh, uh, I have uh, not met a victim who meets with a perpetrator. However, I met a, a number of the victims who non, do not want to speak dit, about that uh, due to the, the symptoms that I talked about and due to fear. Je vous remercie. 
Thank Je you. vais euh, en venir au sujet spécifique des enfants like qui ont vécu pendant le régime des Khmer Rouges. Nous avons entendu ici un certain nombre de personnes regime, et puis nous avons lu quelques déclarations et constitutions de parti civiques. Est-ce qu'il vous est arrivé de rencontrer des patients, des victimes du régime des Khmer Rouges qui étaient enfants à l'époque et qui vous ont expliqué qu'ils avaient dû euh, jouer un rôle de dénonciation ou bien que les Khmer Rouges leur avaient demandé de dénoncer leurs parents. Oui, j'ai rencontré des patients qui avaient connu cette situation, en particulier des patients de TPO. À l'époque des Khmer Rouges, c'était des enfants. Aujourd'hui, à leur tour, ils ont des enfants. Et comme je l'ai dit avant, Regarding the broken dis, carriage of bus, but when they experienced the uh, traumatized experience, they lost uh, their carriage. Ces gens ont perdu leur courage However, lors de l'expérience traumatisante. After receiving the, the treatment from our organization, they feel Toutefois, better, they relieve the fear that they have held to it, and that they became more confident, and that they, they, they gained their hope. Initially, they refused <coughs> to take our service offer, but uh, later on, nos offres de services, par la suite, it, uh, elles ont le sentiment qu'elles peuvent en tirer quelque chose or could even come to et parfois court. même ces personnes sont prêtes à témoigner de ces événements devant le tribunal. Merci. Je vais Thank essayer you. de parler de troubles peut-être un peu spécifiques concernant like les enfants, si votre expérience professionnelle vous permet de nous dire quelque chose à ce sujet. Est-ce que vous avez rencontré des enfants de l'époque Khmer Rouge qui ont évoqué avec vous le fait que, au lieu d'être sous l'autorité de leurs parents, ils étaient sous l'autorité de l'Ankar. Et si oui, qu'est-ce qu'ils vous ont exprimé à ce sujet Président, expert, please wait. The Defense Council for Nunchi, you may proceed. Merci, Monsieur le Président. I've been listening uh, for a while to the questions Cela of the lead court lawyer. Um, que and to be honest, although it's not my allotted time, so maybe I shouldn't object, but I really have no idea what the relevance of these questions are. Si je either une mais je sur the la questions are directed to the expert witness in his capacity as a treating psychiatrist or psycho de psychologist. De and and he could say something in general about the patients that he is treating, or he is asked questions on lui pose des questions expert, en tant qu'expert, uh, par exemple, article that he wrote, concernant l'article qu'il a écrit dans le journal de questions spécialisé. On l'a à présent interrogé sur ses rencontres no avec des gens qui sont peut-être ou peut-être pas des victimes. So, uh, on n'a aucune I'm idée. To, to to, to, Je suis prêt à écouter ces dépositions, mais elles sont absolument dénuées de pertinence. Si je peux répondre, Monsieur le Président, je suis surprise de cette objection. Je pense qu'un expert est là pour témoigner non seulement sur ce qu'il a écrit, mais aussi sur son expérience professionnelle, sa pratique professionnelle. Cette personne est ici parce qu'elle a reçu un certain nombre de victimes du régime des Khmer Rouges, et je pense qu'elle est tout à fait, qu'il est tout à fait capable, cet expert de répondre sur sa pratique professionnelle, 
Je pense même, en ce qui me concerne, que c'est plus intéressant, en tout cas de mon point de vue, que ces écrits. C'est d'ailleurs pour ça, d'ailleurs, qu'aucun de ces écrits n'est placé sur l'interface aujourd'hui. Le Président, je vous donne la parole au juge Lavergne qui va apporter les précisions nécessaires. Le question l'objection de la défense. Je vous en prie, juge Lavergne. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. En fait, la Chambre souhaiterait porter la connaissance de la convocate principale pour les parties civiles, qu'il serait sans doute utile d'être plus précise dans les questions posées à l'expert pour pouvoir évaluer effectivement l'impact auprès des victimes. La Chambre également précise l'intention de la défense de Nouméa, que bien évidemment, elle aura l'opportunité au cours de son propre interrogatoire de poser des questions précises ou des questions qu'elle souhaite poser afin d'évaluer la pertinence de la déposition de l'expert. Merci, Monsieur le juge. Je vais essayer de me conformer à ce que dit Thank la Chambre. Honor, Mais je pensais prendre tous mes exemples dans des exemples de choses qui avaient été entendues ici. Je vais essayer d'être plus précis. On all what has nous been avons entendu ici des personnes qui nous We ont expliqué que les enfants étaient séparés de leurs parents, ce qui a été évoqué tout à l'heure, et qu'ils étaient placés sous l'autorité de l'Ankar. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire si vous avez reçu children, des victimes qui vous ont dit parents. cela Et si oui, ce qu'ils vous ont dit Ankar, did you receive any patients who are victims of the Khmer Rouge and who told you that they were separated from their parents But, uh, Allow me to say that uh, there are several patients il y a plusieurs patients qui étaient conçus au soin de l'Ankar. Ces enfants ont été séparés de leur famille. Ils ont intégré une unité d'enfants. Ils ont été endoctrinés. On leur a inculqué une idéologie qui leur a dit que qui n'est absolument pas adapté aux enfants. On leur a dit qu'ils n'appartenaient pas à leurs enfants, mais bien à l'Ankar. Et que, partant, ils devaient 
en permanence obéir And à l'Ankara. Some of them even reported to Ankara about Certains their parents. ont même dénoncé à l'Ankara les agissements de leurs parents. Et c'est donc dire que l'Ankara a soumis ses enfants à un lavage de cerveau. Le président, thank you. Mr. Expert and the merci, Monsieur l'expert, merci à la coavocate principale. Nous allons observer une pause de 15 minutes et Court reprendre l'audience à 15h05. Huissier d'audience, veuillez vous occuper de l'expert pendant la pause et le ramener courtroom. dans le prétoire pour la reprise at de l'audience à 15h05. Suspension de l'audience.